All right, have fun out there. Don't act like we don't need you. Um, I think I'm going to do like 15 minutes of dinner music because everybody's got this uh, beautiful fish that they paid good money for. And uh, I don't want to steal their attention away from the fish. So I'm going to do some dinner music. And uh, Salt Lake City in the house. Hey, Trey Jar. I will breel a leg. A leg. I will, I will breel a leg. <laughs> you got it. We are in SoCal. We are here at, well, I know. We are, uh, oh, by the way, everybody that does that, not just picking on you, Heather, but, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a little buzz, buzzing and having fun with it. We always, you know, everybody wants to correct themselves when they misprint and the next line is always the one word what they meant to say. One out of ten times you got to do that. You know, we know you're not an idiot and we got what you said. <laughs> I do it too. I do it too. I just it just drives you crazy that somebody might think you you didn't know that. It just drives you nuts. Okay, I'm gonna do like 15 minutes, maybe 20s worth of dinner music. This is a, this is a, a delicious meal in front of you, so I'm just gonna. Pluck on my ukulele. It's, the show hasn't started yet. Just allow me to accompany your, your fine meal here, and I will play some dinner music for about the next 15 minutes, and then, and then we'll get dirty. Then we'll, then we'll get down. So feel free to get yeah.
So fast. 
Episode of Seinfeld before the show starts. Go on. All together in the back room, there's a big screen TV. There's one episode of Seinfeld. Maybe doze off, you know, for 10 minutes somewhere in there. And then we'll come back and really kick ass. What do you say? Who's in? <laughs> nice. <laughs> Ask who? Alan. Oh. <laughs> Anybody have his number? We can call him. Okay. <laughs> awesome. So this is my next to the last gig. Is my resident of California as a resident of California. My my run is ending. It was really really cool. I did it though. I mean, I can always I can always stake claim to a little turf in my life where I felt like I lived in, in California at least more than I ever had before. You know, developed relationships with the grocery store, the, with the, the corner store clerk and stuff. I mean, we know each other. He's going to miss me. I'm going to miss him. Mm. I, I do really good when I really settle. I'm really a recluse, so when I live somewhere, you know, like I, I, I see all this stuff when I'm traveling, but when I actually live somewhere, that means I got to like stay in a room for a couple of months uh, somewhere around there. And in that, you develop such a relationship of like a, a four block radius. It's not just touring, Chad. It's not just touring bands that, that only learn about a, a two block radius. There's something else going on there. Awesome. It's us. Because <laughs> we bitch about that as touring musicians. You, it's like, you feel like you're seeing the world, but really you just know two blocks from the club. You know, you, 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 get to the cl you get to the club and you walk from there around and then you leave the club and you stay on a hotel, at a hotel on the outskirts and you wake up the next morning, you're off and running to the next club and the next... So you get to know every city. And, I mean, if you play the same venue over and over, you get to know that block really well. And that's, that's, that's what you... And we thought that was just the curse of the schedule and the traveling and the touring, but it, it could it could be deeper than that. Maybe us nomadic souls just really love small spaces. And all all we need is like within five feet, but the only way to stay in that space is to keep moving somehow and to take your space with you. So truck drivers out there know what I'm talking about. And you know, like you, you guys might not have any idea what I'm on about here, but there's something to it. Just ask a sailor, ask a soldier, ask a... Yeah. 
So many around here Think I went the lazy way All under the table Rolling down the freeway Sleeping where I wanted to No place to call now It's where the full is spilling over Time to rest days I've ever known Guitar all day, and people wonder when I'll make my move. But I ain't going nowhere, I've got nothing left to prove. Oh, I wish that I could show you the life that I've been shown. Hardest working, loveliest days I've ever known. Your face in the river in the ripples has me still And I will stay with you forever now Forever with you stay I will I've given plenty to the wind And now you can have me for your own Those were the most endlessly epic Troubled days I've ever known Well, I came to play. I came to play. I don't know what, but I, I, feel, I feel good. I feel like I came to play. Got nothing to say, so that means my, my banter's been so awkward lately because I just got nothing to say. I know people. I, I like to make people laugh. I like to, uh, you know, have those those fun moments where the subconscious pieces everything together for a split second. It's like, wow, how that all come together in that moment. Um, but it, it also helps when I'm sort of uh, on about something in my brain. I try to, I try, I've been trying to hold on to all these things that are coming to me. Apparently, we're occupying Wall Street at the moment. I, I, I use the term we loosely, but I, I, we the people, you know. Um, there was like, oh, you should take the fiasco to Wall Street right now. That's, that's going on. So I was just like, I don't know. Like, what are they saying? What, what are we doing? Wait, what are we doing? Wait. No, I didn't get, nobody's told me shit. I, didn't, I mean, I, I thought I was a revolutionary. I, I thought I was part of the, the, the good fight. And like, I hear like a week later that we've taken over. Well, I, I don't, nobody's, what's going on again? Um, is it too late? Can we just occupy this, this building here, the Main Street Garden? Does this count?
take one of those peaches though And I'll be on my way Oh, I will always be free And if you want to know, I want to show you how All these people have been dropping by the studio and stuff like Mr. Rogers' Neighborhood late night, squilly. Hey, it's broken. Hey, it's Reed Mathis. Reed Mathis showed up at the studio and started laying down bass tracks. And I just remember, I just flashed on, on Reed there at our spontaneous studio in your back room. And he'd done like five takes of a song. And he was like, maybe I'll try one looking at my fingers. You never know. Sometimes that like changes, you know. Let me try one looking at my fingers. Of course, it's not the one we use, but I'll never forget him saying that. Let me, let me, let me just try one looking at my fingers. I will always be free. If you want to know, I want to show you how. so much credit and it's I, I, I appreciate it and it's true it's like it's true oh is that for me it's a different glass I really yeah, like this one. it's easier to hold <laughs> I feel deep down though I, I, we're, we're, we might, might want to check on the audio the, the webcast but you weren't supposed to start it's like Mick Jagger said, after all, it was you and me. And it's just not going to work. We cannot point our finger at Wall Street. We're wrong about that. Asshole, I mean, that's, that shit's bigger than... Okay. It's true. I mean, it's true. There's evil in the world. There's these wars. There's powerful things. And it, but, I mean, it's, it's our way of seeing ourselves that makes, you know, that makes it all wrong. Otherwise, it's just people doing what they do, you know? It's, you, you can trust some people so far as to be themselves. You, you can't, we just need to learn how to grow a tomato. I mean, if we, if we can grow a tomato, we're gonna be okay. If we can, if we can look at, in each other's eyes when we communicate, and you can grow a tomato. I mean, if we can harness the sun and the wind, I mean, it's, it's all about sustainable communities and us coming back together again on a more local level. That's the future. That's all there is to it. Demonizing Wall Street. You guys are okay. Fucking, bullshit. And we love your iPad, you know, while you have it. It's like, thank God for all those motherfuckers and the way they work. Because ain't, ain't none of those people up there marching up and down going to make me an iPad, going to give me a cold fountain Coca-Cola. I mean, it's... it's <clears throat> and I, 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 I'm just gonna love those things for the next like couple of years, but it's all around, okay. you know. And, yeah, until it crashes and burns. We are doing our best to consume as much oil as possible. We, uh, we at Hippie Fiasco Rides again are trying to burn and consume as much oil as possible to get us to the next step as soon as as soon as we can. We're doing everything we can to contribute to the cause of getting us to the next step in consciousness and. And uh, real proud of that. <laughs> there you go. Awkward applause. That's all we're shooting for. That's all we want. Any plays? Oh, the fat king of guys. The breaker bones. 
owns everything we see from coast to coast. In the talk of revolution, banished under a stone, the mystic sees trembling smiles. Liberty's children build prison on prison, try to rid us of violence with bombs. And anyone who goes where the wild wind blows knows where we'd be without our loving moms. I know that might sound too dainty, still I'd repeat it for even the slightest truth can never be defeated. And it's a far cry at least from the daily deceit that we play and we play like it's stuck on repeat. Peace has no leaders to play its cards, and peace may pay its own leader's price. But that tomb's always empty as it flows from the bar, ringing true like some good advice. Slowly but surely, the world revolves. I think grace will be her own resolve. She will dance at every chance along till all the world's problems are solved. It's so beautiful in a way that it's so leaderless and it has no point or no message, no cause, no goal. It's like it's a myriad of goals. Just ask anybody, you'll come up with 15 reasons why we're occupying Wall Street right now. It's, and it's such a beautiful thing. It's such a. Of course, Michael Moore is there. Of course, I mean, it's... And it frustrates me, because I love Michael Moore, I love revolution, I love protest, and uh, <coughs> there's something about this thing that's going on on that thing that I'm talking into now that, uh, I mean, I know, it's like, you, I know how Michael Moore Feel, like I, I felt at times like, you know, like I always, when I was a child, wanted to be a voice for the revolution. I'm a folk singer. I came from folk music and all that stuff. But you look at Bob Dylan. He's a great hero of mine, great example. Why did he run? Why did he write Blowing in the Wind and all these revolutionary folk songs? And then when the movement tried to make him a voice for them, why did he run? Why did he head for the hills? Why did he get on a motorcycle and put on sunglasses and, and drive 100 miles an hour into a tree on purpose? Why? What's that all about? Maybe it's that one. <laughs> right. There's just something. There, there's there's something wonderful and exciting about protesting and wine and poetry and sex and and uh, I dig it. I dig it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> But the fact of the matter is, is that we live in a fucking democracy and we've been waging wars and imprisoning innocent people for years. I mean, we could vote that shit off. You know I mean, we can change the world like that. Nobody wants to change the world. It's because that's, that's not, that, that's not, it's uncomfortable. <laughs> yeah, we, uh, it's, I don't even know what I'm saying. I don't know what I'm saying. From the war on this to the war on that, we've spun the freight fabric of our modern day blues. We're born in a rental, pride from our neighbor, our fears and fights they label with hues. But what for the child with the dream that comes, that always comes to an innocent heart? The one that says, don't worry, we've always done that which you are about to stop. Perhaps the destiny's too tedious for tongues wild as these and freedom's too mysterious 
When you're down on your knees For what's been the downfall of all proud societies He knows the words We have whiskey trying to figure it out on your watch. Because I, I definitely don't have something I'm trying to say. I have something I'm trying to figure out. And it's like it's like those hydras or whatever where you like you split you, you shoot it and it becomes two and you kill the two and it's four and you kill the it's like Wall Street is bullshit. It's always been bullshit. Now, why are we like what the fuck? It's like it's like lying down in front of a tank. It's like <clears throat> it's a tank for Christ's sakes. We needed you that night. And I'm not saying you shouldn't set yourself on fire. I'm not. Because you should. All of you. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you're not you. We all should. <laughs> you should get your ass to Wall Street. <laughs> uh, that, that would, that would, now that would get me excited if it was all... How old are you? Seven. If it was all seven-year-olds occupying Wall Street right now, then I would be excited about it. I'd be like, this is the most amazing thing ever. All the seven-year-olds just occupied Wall Street. Oh my God, it's the weirdest, the most amazing, beautiful. This is actually going to change everything. I would be truly optimistic about that moment. So get organized. Get organized. You probably only got a matter of months to pull this off. <laughs>
she saw or twice, and um, I feel a little silly when I sing it, so I only sang it a couple of times, but my subconscious demanded that it was next. I do like that chorus, though, that takes me back to, to being a kid and listening to the monkeys and to the birds. And the
straighten that. Child being flattened by fat man fate. 
and they sound silly, but it's true. Actually, most things do. Lord, Lord, I pray to you. Now, here I am. I'm like cartoon. For better or worse, for butter and bread. I'm asking, it's written in a bubble, floating above my head. Sometimes it's only ampersands and exclamation. It sounds silly, but it's true. Actually, most things do.
saying loud as a tape, but I've spent a long time waiting. I'm about to explode. Fuck the dinner, and fuck the movie. Let's get us.
I got like two thirds of a brand new song. And I, I don't know if this is like the song that you write when you're making the record, the one you write in the studio that everybody wants to hear more like that. As, we, as we're online now 24 seven recording the record of the songs that we wrote on tour, um, trying to like relive, you know, and, and share with everybody like, you know, what it's always been like to make a record and how fun it is and all the little things. And uh, one of them is, is the song that you write in the studio when you're making the record. The one the record label gets and it's like, hey, you got any more like that last one there? It's so funny, that guy, we got this long email in the fiasco tour from this guy who was like, Nathan, you've got to play cover songs. You've got to do it. It's like, unless you want to be playing people's backyards for the rest of your days, you've got to start doing cover songs. He's like, he's like, do me a favor. When you're at High Sierra in, a, in about a month, go out there and tell everybody, here's a new song, and watch, watch them just die inside a little bit. Like, everybody wants to hear what's familiar, you know, they, and, and there's, I mean, on a to, a, to a certain extent, that is what the focus group reports back when you conduct that experiment. It's true. But what he failed to understand is that the whole energy of me creating a new song is what gets me into the world. It's what gets me out of bed. It's what gets me, when, when, I, when a new song comes to me, I have to share it with the world. And it's that energy that has brought me here. It's, it's. It's this crazy thing. And if I didn't have that new song and that compulsion, that energy, that fire that kicked me out of the house, or it's like, I got a new song. I got to, I mean, that, that's when I pick up the phone. That's when I walk out the door. It's when I have a new song. That's, that's when I, that's, that's, that's the only way he'd ever see me again. Way better than a cover song. <laughs> it's the only way he'd ever see me again. Yeah, he was God. basically saying, I don't care if I ever see you again. Dear Nathan, so here's a new song. It's not even finished yet. So <laughs> Ripping through the pages, trying to remember what I mean. Everything changes, passing over tea. Out into the air, little bird is free, but I'm no longer there. The man who said it in me. I'm holding on to this one, I'm not letting this one go.
Oh yeah. Sorry about drinking on an empty stomach, you know. Hey, I get confused because if I eat the bass, then I'm awkward in a different in a different way. Like I'm just like sort of full and lethargic. And but I went the other round. I was like, no, I'll wait and eat the bass later. <laughs> How about it for the empty stomach buzz though? How many of you here here? I mean, it, it's been the, it, it's been, it's such a sweet ruin of you too, because you can only get in so much trouble, you know, you only have so much strength, but boy, do you feel every bit of it. In such a sweet, silly way. Oh my God. But it's always like, you know, on a, just on a Monday or a Tuesday or Saturday afternoon, or it always fucks all your plans up. Like you're just like, oh my God, this is so great. It's like, no, I don't want any food right now. Just sort of killing it over here. <laughs> take, another, take another beer. There's a guy called Ted who lives inside my head, and if you ever met him, then you may be dead. Well, I don't much like him, but once he saved my life, and now he says, Oh, I'm so I'm drinking tonight. I'm drinking tonight. Wasted was Ted. Wasted was Ted. Wasted was Ted. Was I? Ted buys a bar around it, don't know where he gets the dough, but after each and every pint, he yells, just one more. Say, hey, where are we going? How we gonna get home? He runs and leaps like a madman, screaming, leave me alone, just leave me alone. Wasted was Ted. <coughs> Wasted was Ted. Wasted was Ted, was I.
You know, the thing that was cool about the 60s protests and all that kind of movement, not, like I said earlier, not only was it so beautifully bound to, to so many great movements like civil rights and things like that, it's, it's, it's unfortunate that, uh, you know, like the drug war and things like that aren't as, as or, or gay rights or, you know, those kinds of things. I wish they were as obvious as all the other civil rights issues. I mean, they're just as based in truth and just as true, but they're just not as, uh, I don't know, it's too easy to not give a shit about a homosexual drug addict for some reason. It's just like, for some reason, it's really easy to, to deny them their civil rights. I'm not sure what's up with that, but it's just an easier thing for us to do. So we're sort of screwed. We don't have that, that like sexy truth on our side. We have all these uncomfortable ones. And, the sad thing about the the, pro, the the stuff I see these days is like back then you had like so much obvious beautiful truth on your side and uh, you were young and it was like let's take this and I know the young kids on Wall Street are doing this I mean they're feeling it probably some of them for the first time in their life like how amazing it is to feel that camaraderie and that that group effort and I think some of them are getting laid, and that's what I'm trying to talk about. That's where I'm trying to go. I mean, if you look at the 60s, it was all, of, I mean, it's, it's just like, it, like at the heart of rock and roll, and so all this beautiful shit, beautiful shit comes from this sexual energy, you know, this like, and, and I just don't see it. I, I'm looking for the sexual energy on Wall Street right now, and it's just not quite, it's like this awkward, like, ah, oh, it's, I, ugh, it's, yeah, Michael Moore's there, whatever. He's, I mean, I get it. Yeah, of course he is, but he's not getting laid. I, who's, who's getting laid? If, 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 if they start getting laid, then they got a real movement on their hands. I mean, just. Um, <laughs> it's true. <laughs> set up a single song I've ever written. <laughs> no. Can we request it? Hold on. Can we request some? Sure. How about Good Company? Trying to get drunk enough to cry. I've got these tears lodged inside. Yeah. It's sober been clouding up my eye. So I'm trying to get drunk enough to cry. Trying to get high enough to fly, I leave the cold, cold ground behind. Soaring, she'll be sore in the morning. I'm just trying to get high enough to fly. So if you feel, if you feel a little something, a little something. On, your on your shoulder, don't worry, don't worry. it's only me. Oh yeah, I'm 
Since the beginning, we've been spinning our wheel, trying to love, digging in our heels, wondering how could the angels tugging on our sleeves not be real. We deal the cards and read the signs and step in line with fate, then finding heaven's gate, we hope we're not too late. We've dispelled the magician. But in magic we still have faith Gotta make it make sense Gotta make it make love Gotta make it make believe Gotta make it make enough For you and me Beauty sits upon a stone And tries to prove me wrong She sings all alone This far away song because I wasn't born inside you I won't die when you do Carry on But I try to sing along But my voice it doesn't fit It trembles Beauty is begging me to quit And I'm tired and willing Living through this field of violence kids because they're you know but they are not they I, I know 
never mind. <laughs> they don't have any, they just don't have any fucking clue. They, there's no history in their eyes. There's no history in their words. There's no history in their movements and their, there's no history there. And I, I don't know yet how to, to feel it or I just don't, there's no, I mean, Michael Moore's there. Go there, go there. That, that, that's go our there. anchor, that's our anchor. Uh, what a sad situation. <laughs> This is, we're, we're in dire. <laughs> Rachel Madden. That's what people said about the 70s? Just that they, you didn't know the history. Right. Appreciate it. it's, it's the eternal gripe of the, of the people that just getting that aren't old there. for the first time. <laughs> <laughs> they should be asking me questions. <laughs> they, <laughs> They don't care what I know. There's something so offensive about that. It's like, how could, how could they not care what I know? I just need to go inspire some, you know, sex engagement there. I mean, that might have come out wrong. It's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's not, it's, it's, you know, it, 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 it is what it is. Some may say, I was chasing my tail, it got away, therefore I fail. What they don't know is what they can see. I'm not chasing my tail, it's chasing me, it's a dog to flee. On summer's day, oh glory be, the month of May. Every time I shed a tear, you get stronger, you come near. When the sky is blue, the way you run, I see myself in you. As I reach for the sun, it's in the willow tree. To the water away, oh glory be, the month of May. Not 
not good? Would that ruin everything? We shut down Wall Street every single class. Yeah. <laughs> what do they want everything to do? Not collapse? That's what I don't want to collapse. They want everything to to get sweet. Like for for capitalism to have like a heart. For Christ's sakes. Is it? Yeah. On what level? I just. Um, and they get like everything you're saying. They don't understand what I mean. Oh, the protest is scary. We shut down our the best system ever created. What do we have left? We need to fix the system and not shut, not re, not revolt the best system. Ever or we can have a new system that's way better than the last system. Can we though? I mean. All right, a show of hands of people here that feel like actually personally threatened by Wall Street. Or whatever. And the protest okay. Wall Street. Wall Street. <laughs> Wall Street. Oh, oh, Wall Street. Is what? It's what we're trying to take the money out of the election process. Because as long yeah. as. That's, that's the what? The election process. The money? Did you say the money? The money out of the election. Because as long as Wall Street can buy an election, then the, then the elected officials will always do what's best for the guys who already have the money. But that's as old as Rome. I mean, that's how it works. Money is not money. Money is an idea. It's like shut down as the instance of corporations can put a limited amount of money into the elections. Then there's a chance that the elected officials can actually listen to the people instead of the corporations. Come on. Come on. Really? money for you to know my name. There's no way for free for you to even know I exist. So we, we live in a country with millions of people. How are you going to know someone without money exists? How could you possibly even hear of them? That's fine in terms of regular advertising. That's different than buying an election. It's different than putting enough money into the guy who can change the rules so you can get away with that whatever the hell you want. I mean, you're not wrong. Some people are just morons. Well, it's true. Some people are morons. You don't need to go there. Michael Moore at the protest said, we need to end capitalism. capitalism. I think that's a very brave statement. It is. I love Michael Moore, and that scared me more than anything I've ever heard of him. He said that exact verbatim. We need to end capitalism, not end the Federal Reserve, as people talk about. Right. And that, capitalism is Right. God. Uh, is God next? Uh, yeah, we're, y'all are early for the God conversation, but thanks for coming. Uh. <laughs> no, I love it. I love it. <laughs> is that the segue? Should I take a supper? Oh, no, I'm not smoking. <laughs> if I can smoke, smoke as much as you want. I just, I don't, I, I believe that, like, you can't talk to who's not listening. You can't tell them what they need to hear. There's not a single person on Wall Street right now giving up their shit. There's not a single person giving up their iPad, their, 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 their sensations, their lifestyle. There's no like radical change of lifestyle. I mean, the, 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 it's like the, 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 the revolution has to happen within. It's just a bunch of young people like fucking realizing how awesome it is to protest. And I can't, I would never deprive them of that. I just think it's a shame that none of them are getting laid. Yeah. <laughs> Me too. They can't talk to who's not listening. You can't tell them what they need to hear. You can't show them what 
would open their eyes. And if they saw you surprised, you disappeared. Just such blindness, such deafness. Yes, it's killing us slow and killing us sure. But there's just no way that we won't be the poise. There's just no way. of their enemy where people met and, and actually marched against what 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 icon of the civil rights movement or or the war in Vietnam what what is it swastika. the symbol the, the swastika. of the swastika, the swastika was the American symbol. right but you can re you, you can actually think of a protest that marched against the swastika like no, that moment that, happened but the symbol no, no, that's, that, that is an interesting thing, but it's a different question. Right now, we are occupying Wall Street. We are saying, Wall, I mean, we are legitimizing Wall Street. We are raising Wall Street up into the clouds. I mean, what, it, it, that whole idea. I, I can't think of a single moment in history where truth marched against an icon. Like, and I, It's, it's an icon, but we didn't manifest it in the, in the, in the, re, in the reality. I mean, we marched on Washington, we marched, uh, we, we, we didn't, there was nothing, we didn't definitely march on the Vietnam Wall. There was no physical construct. There was no, never a single protest that was actually aimed at, at something. What about that the pointed a finger wall. that demonized, that said, you are country. the enemy, you are the enemy. No, the, the enemy never inhabited a place. Burning draft guards, but that was not, we did not go, we did not say the enemy dwells here and ever. I mean, where did, where did that, I mean, burning draft guards was huge. I just think it's different to, there's something really, really sort of interestingly different as opposed to marching, it's, I, it's very rare that the protest has a, a finger pointed at such a specific thing. Like the poor are saying, "Fuck the rich." What's that? Right, right. The income distribution. Yeah. Right, right. The richer get richer, the more. Yeah, right. they're saying. And it's we're finally done. come to this head, and, and Wall Street to us represents that. That. Where we like in economics, we reach that maximizing factor where it starts to turn that negative turn. You know. Right, right, and it may be time. Right. 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 A lot of people in stock. It's like in ways. Yeah. 
we all do and we don't even know it. Like if you got money in the bank, you own stock. You know, like the Berlin Wall is a good example. I like the Berlin Wall. That's a good example. Let's go with that. Well, as the master of music simply put it, it is what you don't, it's not what you do. So a toast to what this spring shall bring to us, to truth tonight, to you. an awkward thing to even try to achieve, but to that kind of dialogue in the midst of a song or something is sort of an accomplishment. Good job, guys. Yeah, I like it. You guys are letting it roll, letting it flow. You're not stifling each other or me and, or or uh, stopping me from drinking. I mean, I... <laughs> Encouraging you, you are not guaranteeing a thing. I love you for it. Sheriff's not on my trail, can't even go to jail, if I found this New Haven fool. You can know yourself too well, till you got nothing to see, no one to tell. Myself in Memphis, I was broken and tired. My eyes turning away from the Lord. Woke up in the morning, not knowing how I got there. I was face down on the shore. But you can know yourself too well. Till you got nothing to see. No one to tell, town to town.
smells a flower, who's looking for that flower, wants to be where such a flower grows. But he climbs down his tower, and there's a little shower, but he doesn't mind, it feels good on his toes. second plug for the uh, occupation of Wall Street. Is the thing I like about it is the fact that, you know, the shit is truly hitting the fan. We, I mean, it's just true. The oil's going to run out. When the oil runs out, millions and millions of people are going to die. And it's going to be this moment where the rich are exerting a presence and a, a, a militaristic, violent presence in the world to try to guarantee the, that we won't you know, burn their houses down and all that kind of stuff. So it is a great show of force just to let the world know that the poor people are are are, are not just going to, to bend over uh, when, when the time comes that this is our world and this is our country and we are we the people. And that's what I love about the occupation of Wall Street, even though no one's fucking getting laid and it's sort of a shit ass thing on a lot of levels. I love the fact that they are letting the world know that there's a lot of us and, and we, and you, you just, you, you can, you, it's our world. This is our world. And I love that about it. I might be back. I, I know I'm not going far. I'm not going far. Thank you guys so much. Thank you Main Street Garden for doing this little luxurious evening. Fine dining establishment, some good quality folk music. I mean, come on, Monday night, we love 